y'all, it's TX Stampin' Sharon. I am super excited about this new series that I am starting. It's called Easy Peasy, one, two, three. Every time you see that logo, you're gonna know that you're gonna find some Easy Peasy cards, but not necessarily always cards, and maybe not necessarily what I'm gonna show you today. So, let the fun begin. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe by hitting the button below and then hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video or when I do my YouTube lives. This is gonna be a fun series. I would love to hear your comments and always those thumbs up makes me smile. All right guys, let's get started. On today's video, I'm actually using two stamp sets. One is Sailing Home and the other one is Seaside Notions. They go together, right? They all have to do with the sea. I needed a happy birthday sentiment, so that's why I pulled out Seaside Notions. The card that we're making today is a fun fold, okay? I've never done this one. Uh, if you haven't, I invite you to stay tuned till the end because I play around with this on two other versions, and I hope that it inspires you. I have a piece of Knight of Navy that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have another piece of Knight of Navy that is three inches by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have two pieces of DSP from the Come Sail Away that measures two inches by four and a quarter. So I have two pieces of that. You can use any DSP. You can use any color cardstock. I have two pieces of Whisper White, and these measure two and three quarters by four inches. Both are the same. I'm going to adhere my DSP to both sides. Next, I'm going to adhere my other knot of navy. Right in the center. For the inside, I'm just going to adhere a Whisper White layer. For my stamping, I'm using Knot of Navy. I'll tell you what, I was having issues with this stamp. Um, I've used it many times, but for some reason, I don't know if my ink is juicier, but a great tip I wanna share with you is I took a pair of snips and I just cut out the part that was giving me trouble and then I just stuck it back on the block. Sometimes you have to do that with the rubber mount stamps. If you've got an area that keeps giving you what I call trash, just get rid of it. Now, how is that for easy peasy? Stamps, paper, and ink. I didn't use any dimensionals. I didn't use any punches on this card, but let's say I did wanna use some punches. Let me show you my other cards and my other ideas. So here you go. Same images, but all I did was move over this to the right-hand side, and I wanted happy birthday still, so I used the timeless uh, classic label punch, and it's just, it's very, easy so we just stepped it up a little bit then on this one i put it on the left hand side same thing same kind of stamping same punch a few videos back i don't know maybe a few months back i shared a gift card holder using the same uh, stamp set and on this one the only thing i did different was i used some stamp and blends um, you could do watercoloring you could do anything you wanted to give the color to the images Okay, so I wanna run through these one more time because there is a little bit of a difference. Um, on this one, like I showed you, I put my two pieces of Whisper White 
on my Knight of Navy cardstock. And then I put my DSP on the sides. But these two, the Designer Series paper measures a little bit differently. And I placed my Whisper White in different places. Two, my Designer Series paper is two and three quarters by four inches. My Knight of Navy card base is the same. And remember, it was four and a quarter by five and a half. My card fold itself is still the same. It is still three inches by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. So for this one, I put my Whisper White here. And then I attached my, my folded card part here. I put the DSP. Let's scoot that up a little bit. I put the DSP on top like that. Okay. And then on this one, my DSP is different. It is actually four and a quarter by two and three quarters. I placed it on the card base here. Then I added my folded card piece. I put my I put my whisper white on the inside and then I stamped the sailboats and the seagulls on the outside. So they're all very similar, but I wanted to run it through so that you would understand there are some differences on where I put the DSP and in this case how long the DSP was, what the actual measurements were. So um, you can find all the information on my blog if that helps you understand the differences of everything. I hope that you enjoy my easy peasy one, two, three. It's great for beginners. It's great for even if you've been stamping for a long time. If you have a crafty friend who would enjoy this idea, why don't you share this video with them? Happy stamping, y'all!